Welcome back, Seth Bling here. This is my 200th video, and I've got something very special for you. This is Minecraft Tower Control. It's my new PvP arena minigame, team versus team. And I'm going to show you uh, a sample game and explain how everything works as the game is being played. So first I'll set the time to night so that everyone can uh, set their spawns. Now any spawns that uh, any any spawn locations that that are not meant to be occupied are they have the lever flipped down, but everyone else is going to set set their spawn in their bed, and head over to this pressure plate here that indicates that they're ready. And once everybody on the team is ready, the game will begin. Now everybody on the team will get a fresh set of gear every time that they spawn, and they'll always come back to their bed when they spawn, of course. And yeah, so they'll have uh, a set of weapons and armor. There's two teams. There's the gold team and the iron team. Uh, the gold team will be wearing some gold armor. The iron team is going to be wearing some chainmail armor. Now, this is uh, those are balanced sets of armor, so that the teams will be distinguishable, but no one will have a real advantage. I think the game has started, so let me set the time to day. Yeah, I can see the first people peeking out of their door. Everyone's going to put on their armor before they exit their spawn point. And the game's going to begin. It's going to get pretty hectic in here. Okay, so it's called Tower Control because there are a bunch of towers. There's three towers we can see in the middle here, above ground. There's actually one underground too. And then each team has their own set of two towers in, near their spawn points. The way that you win the game is to capture both towers from your opponent's spawn points. To capture a tower, like Traslander is doing here, you... oh. Yeah, you step on the pressure plate on the side that is for your team. So gold, he was on gold, he stepped on this pressure plate on top of the gold block here. And that will capture the tower for him. These three towers in the middle don't give you any points or anything. What they do is they provide a tactical advantage. So the middle tower here, for example, is going to cause any player that spawns in the gold team to get some potions whenever they spawn. So we can see some particle effects coming off of Traslander because he has both speed and regen potions on him right now, in effect. Very useful potions. That's the middle tower here. Um, nobody's, nobody's captured either of the other two towers yet, but uh, this tower here will open up the sniping nest up here, which is not only a good sniping spot, but it also has free infinite health. Basically, you're invincible once you're up here. It's a very good sniping spot because of that, and it's very useful. We see Big Bang Brother is trying to go up for this tower. This tower unlocks the bridge bypass for your team. And, oh, he almost made it. That would have been perfect for me to demonstrate it. Maybe, maybe Traslander will get it. Nope, not quite. The, <laughs> the bridge bypass here, though, will, it'll bring up, if, when you capture it for your team, it'll bring up this row of blocks so that you can make it over this wall. And it's sort of a better way around to the other side than going over the soul sand all the time which uh, this whole sand obviously is going to slow you down a lot. And I'm not sure if there's anybody down in the basement here. There's a basement down here. Yep. Looks like Keanu Laszlo is down in the basement. Uh, the iron team has captured the tower down here. These towers look just like the towers above, but they uh, it's obviously not a tower. It's just embedded in the ground. So the iron team has captured this, this tower, which allows them to go straight through here, uh, but the gold team doesn't have the same advantage until they capture the tower. So there's these pits to get up and down between the, well, obviously only down to the basement, and then each team also has a couple staircases that lead down into the basement. So it's quite a tactical map. Uh, as I said before, in order to win the game you have to capture both towers for the opposing team. So the iron team over here will have to make their way over to the gold side and capture both of these gold towers. Uh, currently, gold controls both of the towers, which is good for them. Uh, once they capture one, there will be a little dinging sound that will alert the gold team that they need to be careful, otherwise they'll lose the game. And once they capture both, once Iron captures both, uh, the game will be over, and on this wall over here, we'll see a big win sticker. It'll, it'll say which team won. So that's pretty much the mechanics of the game. It's a very crazy game, and we're just going to watch the rest of the game. Looks like gold has just taken the bypass here, so we can now see uh, you can make it up and over this wall. And when combined with the potions, which gold also controls, 
uh, very useful combination because you can just rush over with speed and regen, make it over very quickly. Down in the basement we see Keanu again making his way to the gold side. He's sort of sneaking up, nobody's really seen him because he didn't go through the middle. Now Iron actually has players up here near the towers. It looks like they may gain control of both towers at the same time. And they've gained control of that one and that one. That is the game over. All right. And we see a big win sticker for the Iron team. A good game all around. Now when the when the game is over, if you're still alive, you could make your way out through there's a little doorway here which leads back to the main spawn area uh, out here. Uh, or uh, it, you can just kill yourself using slash kill or uh, or whatever method and you will go back to the bed that you set as your spawn and you can just play again. The game is fully resettable. Uh, in fact, even if there's items dropped in the arena, that's okay because it's just stuff like armor and swords, which you don't really need extras of. Now, some, some notes on rules. Uh, you are supposed to wear your team's armor all the time so that you can be identified by the other team. And yeah, so that's pretty much the game. Now, in that game, we didn't see anybody take the sniper tower, but here's what it looks like when somebody does take the sniper tower. Iron now controls this tower, and... So Keanu Laszlo is sitting in the tower, he's getting his free health, and he's taking out lots of, uh, lots of goldies. Doing a good job. So that's the, that's the sniper nest, that's what it's called. So that's how you play Minecraft Tower Control. Of course, you can download the map from the link in the video description and try it out for yourself. Like I said before, the game works for teams of up to nine. I wouldn't recommend playing it with teams smaller than four. Uh, and I've found six to be the best number of players per team. It allows for good communications if you have like a Skype call going, and but it's still a very active game and there's always something going on. So that that's about it. Thanks for watching.